Hi everyone, Trash All are doing well. So now we're going to work on our login page right here. So in the previous episode, we created three components, the button, input, and label. So in our pages folder, let's create a new file and I'm going to call this one login.js. Let's create our component and we'll just call it login. And I'm just going to say login page so that we know we're on the right spot. So let's go to our login. So as you can see, we've got our login page right there. But what we want to do as well is we want to make use of our main layout. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So let's go to our index page right here. I'm just going to copy this part and paste it in here and just change this to login. Okay, because I don't want to have to type out all of this. So if you press control, I'm inside my component right here. If I press the control button, with my spacebar on my Windows keyboard. Okay, if I do that, it's supposed to give me a shortcut to that part right there in order to import that. So if I do that, you can see it imports it right there. So I can just delete this part right here. Okay, so there's my main layout in. If you don't cannot do that, just make sure that you import, import main layout from that right there. Okay, awesome stuff. All right, so if I refresh this page, you can see it makes use of my main layout right now. Okay, now there's a couple of things we need to do. Now let's start off with the first part. This is for our different states, because remember, we're going to need one for the email, password, and obviously for the errors. If there's any errors, we want to display those errors for the user right there. All right, I'm just going to call this one states. Um, all right, let's start off with the first one, use state. Now the first one, this one will be for the email. Okay, and I'm just going to leave that empty by default. Okay, and let's do the next one. The next one will be for the password. Now this one will be for the password. And that will be empty. And then for the errors as well. So let's do that. So I'm just using a snippet. And this one will be for the errors. Just pause the video if you just want to copy everything and if you don't have the snippet. Okay, so that's basically that part right there. But don't worry about this, it's not defined yet. In order to define it, we're just going to say import, use state, and we're going to import that from React. Just like that. So, okay, so as you can see, the error will disappear right there. So that's the first part. Now, the second part is we need to bring in our hook. So I'm just going to say auth hook. Okay, so for our authentication. So let me import it at the top. So import. Um, just make sure that you put curly braces. If you're going to use it, let me just make an example. I'm going to use auth like this from. Let's just quickly specify. We go outside this folder. We're going to go to our hooks. And then we're just going to go to auth. If I do this, I will get an error. Um, I cannot remember the error, but let me just quickly show you an example so that we can be all on the same page. So if I get a login and I need to get the is loading. So for anyone that's new to the channel, let's quickly go to our hooks right there. So on the auth hook, so we go in here. You will see this is basically our component. But it's receiving middleware and the middleware by default is just an empty. Uh, object as you can see we bring in our router this is for the loading this is our user and this is the login so we bring in the login because remember we return them so the user we return the login and we return the is loading okay so that's basically what i'm referring to right now so the user and i want to set that to make use of our use auth and then we're just going to add the middleware by default, the middleware for a login page needs to be guessed. Okay, so just do that. Okay, so middleware, just going to set it to guessed. All right. Now, if I'm going to save this, I'm going to get an error right there. So let's quickly, I don't know if it works. Yes, yeah, it works. All right, so we're going to get an error right here. Now, if you see this error, don't be afraid of it. All you have to do is just you make, must make sure that you add your curly braces like this at the end right there and if I save that you can see it disappears right so nothing break or is broken okay the only thing is just need to make sure that you import it correctly 
Okay, so if I import it like this, it's incorrect to import it. Okay, you need to just add the curly braces. All right, so now we bring in our auth hook. We need the login, is loading, and the user. Okay, so we end the middleware that we pass through for this page it needs to be the guest middleware. It means anybody can come to the login page. Now, if the page is loading, we want to set basically check if the loading is true. If the loading is true, we want to have an indication to let the person know, like, listen, the page is loading. So I'm just going to put the uh, uh, loading, check, loading, and user. Okay, so if so we're going to just check that. So check if it's loading or the user. What we want to do is we want to let them know, um, give them an indication. Okay, so you can do a couple of things. You can add a GIF in here, do with a loading, or you can use a tailwind class with a spinning right there, or you can just make something simple is loading. Okay, so let, we can do that. So let's return, um, what can we do? Let's make it simple, is loading, just like this. Okay, I'm just, Checking, doing something simple, or we can just add a tailwind class in here. Either or, totally up to you. I just want to keep this simple. All right, that's the first part. Now, the second part that we need to do is we need something that handles our form. So, uh, submit our form. And just say submit form. All right, so this will handle our form submission. So, we're just going to create a constant and we're going to call it submit form. And we're going to set that to an async event parameter, arrow function. And then what we're going to do by default, we don't want the form to be submitted automatically. Just uh, stop the default behavior. So prevent uh, default because we want to submit the form with JavaScript. Okay. And then we just want to get that login, the one that we brought in right there, that hook. Okay. And then we just uh, want to submit the email uh, password, which we're going to create in a second. We haven't created this yet and set any errors. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So that is basically our form all done right now. So let's move down to our, basically, this is the part that we return. All right. So let's quickly delete everything in here. I'm just going to create a fragment. Right, and then I'm just going to bring in my head. Okay, so let's just make sure I import this for next head. As you can see, I'm bringing it in right there. Okay, so my default, let me just delete this. I'm going to have a title. All right, so, and this will be for Mozzie. And I'm just going to say login page. Okay, or just login. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, it changes right there, Mozi to login. All right, so now we need to create a div. We don't have much room to work with because I still want the form to be able to be visible, The basically the card for the login. So I'm just going to make it the width, um, let's say one fourth. I'm just going to check uh, one fourth. And then we just want to give it a MX auto because we want to center everything. Okay. Center the whole page. Let's give it a background or let's say a white and give it a shadow as well. All right. All right. So inside this, I'm going to create my form. Okay. So my form right there. I'm going to use PHP for the form. I'm going to use JavaScript. So in there, I'm just going to do on submit. On submit, what I want to do is I want to equal that to the for, the method that we just created. So let me just copy that. So the submit form, and um, I'm going to be make sure that JavaScript handles that. So on my form right here. So let me just actually add your form. I don't want any autocomplete. I just want to set that basically to off. Okay. So inside here we're going to have our label. Okay, so let me just do a label. Now the label is going to be HTML4. That's going to equal for the email. Okay, so let's just quickly set the email. Let's see if that works. So 
as you can see label is not defined so let me just bring it in at the top right here so let's do that so import uh, label label from gonna go outside the folder then we're gonna go to our components and then we're just gonna look for the label okay so I'm just gonna do that for the other three components as well right so I got my label input and but okay so let's go down right here so that is our label right there the next part I don't think this let's just make it a bit bigger so as you can see right there it's not very nice and give it some padding as well so padding of maybe two so as you can see right there maybe padding of one okay. that looks a little bit better and just give it a rounded border okay awesome stuff all right so that's our label so let's move on we need to add one for our input so our input right here all right so that's our input but now I'm just going to give us some room like this because as you can see I don't have much space to work with so I'm going to have my input and the, this part will be an ID and that is going to be for our email now that's the one part the next part is this will be a type of email and let's move on to the next part now the value will be the email that we're working with right here okay so the D by default it will be empty okay so default it's nothing okay so we're going to have the value we're going to equal that to email okay the next bond right here is class name so if we want to add any additional classes i'm going to leave that empty for now i'm going to see in a second what it's going to look like right so that's email and then on change we're going to run a method so on change what we want to do is we want to check the event okay and then we want to set the email okay All right because remember we got that right there we got the state so email set email right and then we want to change it to event dot target all right so that's what we got in there and the thing is we want can set if this field is required and yes we want that to be required the next point in here what we want is we want it to if the person comes on the login page this page must be auto focused okay so if they come onto the page they will actually automatically go to that so auto focus like that and what else we need in here right so we just want to add the complete off as well okay so like this i just wanted to show you let me just see if this works with uh, cool. that's it because i want it to be contained inside the container right there and all of a sudden this looks a bit too small so let me remove the width like this yeah let me just work with that and add some more padding yeah because we're just doing this for an example anyways and just add the email in there like that okay so and i just yeah that works okay so this is the first part so this is our email right here but this will work better if it's in, in encapsulated with a div so let me just copy this part like this so this is the one input field now let's work on the next one I'm just going to leave it empty for now because if i need to change it a bit i can do that right so this part right here this will be for the password so we've got the email right now let's do the password okay so the password right here is we're just going to bring in the labels let me just copy this part let me just make it easy okay so this will be the password okay so as you can see we've got our password right there okay in here we're just going to copy this part again because i want to make it easy on myself because i'm already taking a lot of your guys time so we've got an email instead of the email right now this will be a type or password so i'm just gonna go down like this and change it to password okay just to make it easy for me okay and we got the div right there You know what i'm on the form right here i'm just going to add a space 
a Y or four. This is kind of give room between between the divs. All right, so this is bond right here. This is mustn't be a set email, so this must be changed to set password. Password right there, because just remember the set right there. Okay, so we can obviously add the errors somewhere. We can add them at the top right there, totally up to us. All right, let's create another div, and this div will be responsible for our button. Okay, so let's quickly bring in our button, and, and then we're just going to say login. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our email, we've got our password, and then we've got our login right here. Now, the thing is, as you can see, just to show you right here, so if I change this to email, just the default will be that right there. Right now, I'm not actually handling, handling any errors. So I'm just, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a component called errors in the next episode. Okay. And let me just do it like this. And then I'm just going to pass in the errors as error like this. So if there's any errors, because we, errors is not defined yet. Okay. I'm going to do that in the next episode so that everything works quite nicely because if I have to type out all the logic in here, this will get a bit too messy. Okay, but I'm just going to comment this one out for now. I'm just going to do that one in the next episode. All right, so if we submit this form right now, we need to be able to get locked in. Okay, all right, so that's basically our login right done for now. So thank you guys for watching and I will just do in the next episode, I will just do the errors part right here. So if you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. See you in the next one. Adios.